Good morning everyone, Tiffany Quinn here and this is our lower body strength and power workout. Today's routine is going to help you strengthen your lower body and break a full body sweat with powerful dumbbell and body weight only exercises. For equipment today, all you'll be needing is your light to medium weight lower body dumbbells. I wouldn't go too heavy with today's workout as we are aiming for a slightly higher rep count while maintaining form. We'll also be incorporating a medium resistance band. Now keep in mind that this is an optional piece of equipment so you can go without. However, if you did need one, you can find my single hit band in the links below. They come in two different patterns, they're non-slip, non-roll, and they're the perfect addition for your lower body workouts. Now smash that thumbs up button for me, subscribe to the channel for a new workout every week. Don't forget that your free July fitness guide is in the links below, so go ahead and grab that and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome back for our workout today. Now I'm actually just getting back from vacation and I've had three weeks off of filming for YouTube, so that means I am a little bit nervous, but I am also ready to sweat. Also means you guys are in trouble today. Now for our format, we're starting off with 10 supersets. Our timer will be set for a 60 second strength exercise, so keeping the tempo lower, straight into a 30 second power exercise, speeding the tempo up, and then we've got a 30 second rest between each superset. Our final 10 minutes of the workout, we'll be using our hit band. I will be resetting our timer for interval format. We'll be doing 30 seconds of work with a 15 second rest between. It is going to breeze by. Now we're starting off with the quads. Each pairing for our muscle groupings will be a dumbbell superset, followed by a body weight only superset. And we're going to be going into a goblet squat. That was a bit of a tongue twister. So that weight comes to center. The feet are in line with the hips and the knees are parallel with each other. We're coming down for a count of eight and lifting up. Just follow along with me. Go ahead and grab that weight. I'm starting with my 10 pound. Going in three, you guys ready? In two and one. All right, weight to center. Feet are facing forward. It's down for eight, seven, nice and slow. Six, five, halfway, four, three, two, one is up. Again, for eight, seven, Six, five, great job. Four, three, two, and up. Knees stay behind the toes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and raise through the quads. Eight, seven, six, five, you've got this. Four, three, two, and raise. Again, eight, five, and four, three, Two and up, one more. Eight, seven, six, five, and four. Three, two, now hold, pulse for seven. Six, five, four, tiny pulses. Two, one, we change the tempo, it's one, two, up. One, two, up, you're exploding upward without locking the joints out. One, two, explode it up. One, two, explode it up. Push through those quads. You can do this. Knees are both forward, parallel with each other. And raise, 10 more seconds. And raise, three more. Give me two more. Give me one more. One more to burn that timer out. Lift and lower that weight down. Our next two exercises are body weight only, meaning if you can and you have the energy and you wanna push yourself today, you're going to take this a little bit faster. So we start at the center. It's left lunge center, right lunge center. Second exercise, ski jumps or ski walks. The leg comes up and you pause. You guys ready? Going in five, four, I am. Three, two, one. Step left and center. Lunge right and center. One minute here. Already on super set two. It's going to fly by. You just gotta stick through it, right? And center, to the right, and center. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bending through the knee and the hip. Trying to come down a little bit lower each time. Keep it quick. 30 seconds to go here. Another four. Three. Two, facing forward on one. Hold it low, lunge, eight. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Come to center to the right for eight, seven, six, a little lower. Five, four, three, two, left. One, come to the center step or jump into your ski jumps. Try to take those jumps wide. 
one, two, one, two. Use the arms, use the core, squeeze the abs tight. It's only 20 seconds of our plyo cardio move. One, two, one, two. Quick pause for balance, and then jump. Jump, 10 more, eight more, six, you got this, four, three, two, and water break. Okay, 30 second rest, we now go into hamstrings. Two sets for each muscle group. Starting off with single leg deadlifts. Now for this, you can go heavier. Our second move is going to be a dumbbell swing. You may want to use lighter for that. Left leg forward, right leg back. 30 seconds each side. We come down, two, three, and raise. In three, two, one, let's take it away. One, two, three, and up. Shoulder away from the ear. Following the eye gaze forward, pressing through the heel, and feeling the stretch in the hamstring. And up. And up. Try to get that stretch a little bit lower without compromising form. The back is straight. For three. For two. On one, lift it up. Change sides to the right. Two, three, and raise. And raise, 25 seconds. Have that lighter weight nearby. Following your eye gaze forward, keeping the weight close to the body. These go quick, they do. We're already on number three, which means you only have seven to go after this. One, two, three, and raise, two more. Last one, lift up, lower your heavier weight if you were using one. Micro bend the knees, facing forward throughout, between and up, between and up. Try to keep it quick. Control, but quick. Core is tight, the back is straight, the chest is lifted, and we're feeling this one. 15 seconds. Creates a little bit of wind in the room, which I'll tell you right now, pretty necessary. It's pouring outside. You know what that means, humidity. Another three, and humility on my part. Last one, and let it come to a stop, and lower that weight down. Next up, forward lean lunge. Again, 30 seconds per side. Left step forward, right step back. Lower the right knee down. Now hinge forward, bringing your index fingers towards the mat. We come down, tap the mat with the knee, and lift through that front heel in eight seconds. Our second exercise, I'll show you when we get to it, okay? In three, two, one, here we go. Down and raise. You'll feel this in the quad, but you will most certainly also feel it in the hamstring and the glute. As you lean forward, back is staying straight. We're not bent in half. It's just a small lean and raise. Lean and raise, great job. Another four. Another three. Take it at your own pace as needed. Two. On one, stand up, left leg back, right leg forward, bring that knee down, hinge down and raise. Down and raise. We are coming into a full plank position to follow. You can either step them or you can jump them. But we've got frog plank jump. <laughs> Another five. And four. Three. Two more, you can do this. Last one. Now bring yourself into a plank. Our last 30 seconds, the foot comes to the side of the hand and steps back alternating. If you want this to be harder, Jump, 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 jump. Incredible. Keep it going. Doesn't have to be super fast here. One, two, one, two, five more. Three more. Two more. And one. Come back to that plate and walk yourself back up. How do we feel? Not too bad, right? So back to our weighted exercises. That was number two for hamstrings. We are now into glutes. I want you to grab a hold of your heavier weight if you are using one. Coming into a sumo squat position. So the feet are nice and wide, about a 45 degree angle outward. Holding the weight low, we count down for eight again. In four, three, two, let's go. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and up. Eight, seven, six, five, nice and low. Two and up again. Eight, seven, give your heart a chance to come down. Four, three, two, and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and raise. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and raise to the heels and the glutes. Five, four, three, two, one, and up. Last time. Seven, six, five, get the booty low. Three, two, now hold. Hold eight, seven, six, five, ow, four, three, two, and one. From here, lighter weight if you have it. It's down with the weight, jump, pick the weight up, squat. One, two, one, two. Take your time on this. Pace it out, find your tempo. The quads are burning now, the glutes are burning now, but remember you have a body weight only one after this. Down and jump. Last one, two, three, four, jump and bring it in. Weights over to the side now. Going into plie squats. Working into the, into the thighs as well as the glutes. So now we're taking the feet a little bit wider than that stance. Facing them out away from you. Another eight count down. The booty comes down below the chest instead of behind you. In eight, grab some water. Five, four, three, two on one. Let's bring it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two by one. Your thighs should be parallel with the mat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and raise. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it right here. Pulse eight, seven, really slow. Six, five, I want you to think about coming up with the inner thighs. Four, three, two, one, and back to the top, lower eight. Seven, six, I know it's cruel. Four, three, two, on one, hold, now pull. Eight, seven, six, enjoy that burn. Four, three, two, and one. From here, our 30 second cardio. Down and jump and squat. One, two, one, two. Take it at your own pace. If you want to omit that jump, you don't have to do that jump, though I'd highly recommend trying for it. One, two, one, two. After this, we come down to the mat for glute bridges. You know it's bad when my eyelashes start sweating. <laughs> Another four, three, two. Give me one more jump, finish that timer and lift up. This is gonna hurt tomorrow. Come on down to your mat for me and grab a hold of one of your weights. If you have a heavier one, I would certainly urge you to use it. In 20 seconds, we're coming into our bridge position. It's up, pump, lower. So the feet are in line with the hips. Chin tucked towards the chest. Curl the tailbone under. Up, pump, lower in two, in one. Lift, lift, lower. Lift, lift, lower. No need to overextend here. Squeeze the glutes. I want you coming up and lowering vertebrae by vertebrae. Feel each muscle. Up, pump, lower. Up, pump, lower. Incredible. One, two, three, and four. Up, two, lower, two. Up, two, lower, two. Tuck the tailbone forward towards the chin. Another three. We've got a hold coming. Two. On one. Hold it nice and high. Hold right here now. Pulse. 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 Can you come up a little bit higher? Can you lift the toes off the mat? Think about working those booty cheeks. Squeeze them nice and tight. For five, four, three, two, 
On one, it's lower, two, explode it up. One, two, up. One, two, up. Like you're angry at something and you want to thrust your hips towards it. <laughs> I don't know what metaphor to use for that one, but you are exploding upward if you want. You can lose the weight, but if you can keep that dumbbell on, keep using it. And up, and up for three, for two, last one and lower it down. Weight can get, come over to the side. We're coming back to standing. We've only got one more weighted superset after this. Now for this next one, again, working into the thighs as well as the glutes, the right heel is placed down. We're taking the left leg out. Now turn the knee away from you. Lift the left heel up. Hands come to center. We come down to raise two. In five, four, I am just a sweaty mess. Three, two, take it away. One, two, explode it up. One, two, explode it up. Now when I say explode it up, you're not locking that joint out at the knee. You're keeping a very slight bend in it at the top. But I want you to think about contracting that muscle, contracting the quad, the glute, the thigh. One, two, up. One, two, up. Two more. Last one, changing sides, left heel down, right heel up. One, two, raise. One, two, raise. You're like, oh my God, I don't even want to know what's next. <laughs> I promise it's not too bad. One, two, up. One, two, up. And up. Knee behind the toe, in line with the middle toe. Facing forward, chest is lifted. Four, three, two, one. Our plyo move. Feet are a little bit wider than the hip width distance. I'm stalling, aren't I? Down, lift, down, jump. You knew it was coming. One, two, one, two, one, two. How high can you get? That sounded really long. How high can you jump? 10 seconds. Keep going. If you can jump, I want you jumping. If you're sitting down, get up. For three, two, one more jump. Come on, you've got this. Last one. And now we go into calves and quads. Yay. <laughs> Typically a little bit easier on us. Now grab a hold of both of your weights. You can either have them on the shoulder or at the sides. The feet again are hip width distance apart, like where we started. Simply heel raises, guys. Lifting, holding, lowering. You're like, I know you say simply heel raises, but you're totally gonna add something to this. You know it. Feet are forward, in two, in one. We'll start easy. Up, two, lower. Up, two, lower. Squeeze the calves at the top. One, two, three. One, two, three. Really good for ankle stability also. Lift and lower. Lift and lower for three, for two, for one. I want to hold up halfway lower, raise halfway lower, raise for eight, seven. Don't let the heels touch the mat. I know it's tough. And five, and four, Ooh. and three, two more. Last one. Hold now. Pulse eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, you got this. Two, one, right heel down, left heel down. For eight, seven, six, finish it. Five, four, three, two, and now that they're burning, we come down, lift, heel raise lower. One, two, three. One, two, three, onto the toes. Right now, I am personally trying not to do a face plant. <laughs> so if I do, you're welcome to laugh. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll go viral. Again, for four, for three, slight pop to the top, two, last one. Lower the heels. I almost made it, they were given out. All right, weights can go over the, to the side. We are done with the weights for today. Still working into calves though. Our next one is forward step lunge. Don't panic, it's only 30 seconds for each side. Little bit of a wider stance here for forward lunges, as opposed to reverse. We come forward, heel lift, lower and back. Starting on the left side, in five, four, three, 
two, step it forward, lift, lower, step it back. One, two, three, four. Take as much time as you need here. But try for those forward lunges. I know for a long time I avoided them, but they really are good for some of our exercises. Squeeze the core tight. Focus on something on fr in front of you for balance. Forward, lift, lower, step it back. One more. Two, three, four, change sides. Two, three, four, you're on the right side now. And step it back. One, lift, lower and back. Not allowing the knee to touch the ground. Forward, lift, lower, step it back. 10 more seconds. Three more. Two more. One more. Lift. Lower. Step it back. It's one, two, three to jump. One, two, three to jump. Get that plyo move in there. One, two, jump. Shuffle, shuffle, jump. Come on. Ten seconds to go. Give me four more. You get an extended break after this. Two. Last one, two, three, last one, two, three on the left, lift, and shake those legs out. All right, everybody, we are done with the weights. We are on to the hit band. How much do you want to kill me right now? I think I heard already enough profanities from several of you. That's all right, that's what we're here for. So we have about a minute break. I'm resetting our timer. Let the heart rate come back down. 30 seconds work, 15 second rest. In total, we have seven intervals. We are repeating them two times through. First with the band, then we go without, all right? Whew. Catch your breath, let it come down. Let it come down, the heart rate can lower, and then we're spiking it right back up. That last endorphin rush, that last mood boost, you know you want this. Do not leave. All right, I'm gonna show you our first exercise, and then we are going straight in. Go ahead and grab your band, if you don't have the band, you can still do this without. If you want the band for next time, that link is in the video description, all right? So band coming right above the knees, micro bend in your knees, facing forward. It's to the left, center, back, center. Going in three, come on, let's go. In two, in one, left, center, back, center. One, two, three, four. The standing leg does not move. You're pulling the band out, and this leg is resisted. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Can you take it a little bit wider? Can you take it a little further back? I think you can. For five, four, three, two. One more to the back, one more to the side. Lift it up, we go over to the other side. Same thing. 15 second rest and straight in. So you got 10 seconds. Let the heart rate come down. If you want to keep it up, jumping jacks between. In four, three to the right. In two, one, left center, right center. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This knee stays forward. Resist that band. One, two, three, four. Right center, back center, a little bit further. Come down a little lower. For eight, six, four, last three, last two, and one, and lift it up. Jumping jacks if you want for that rest. Use the band for resistance. Our next exercise, while I jump it out, trying to catch a breeze here, it's step to the left, center to the right, center in three, two, one, let's go. Left, center, right, center. Same thing we were doing. I told you it was moderate intensity, right? <laughs> With the band. I know we're fatigued. Those weights nearly killed us. We're still here though. We're still breathing. We're still going. Getting stronger, more powerful. Climb the beat. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Seven, five, last three. Feel the glutes? Two. One, and up. Jumping jacks if you want. But I will tell you, you might want to take this next break. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Come out and jump. In three, 
two, one. Simple move, let it burn. Down and jump, down and jump. 30 seconds. And honestly, if you have that band on, some of the moves tend to be easier with the band. Up on those toes. Come higher, come higher. You got it, good job. 13 seconds. Give me eight more, seven more, six more. Last three, two, one. Whew. Take that break, take that break. Our next one is banded jumping jacks. Two more moves after this, one more on either side, and then we can take the band off. Do not take it off yet. Do not take it off yet. In four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks, nice and simple. Catch the breeze. No spaghetti arms, right? Tight arms, 90 degrees. One, two, one, two. Keep going. Do not give up. I can guarantee you, this room is hotter than wherever you are. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, and one. Down to the mat. Down to the mat, down to the mat. If your legs are not jello yet, mine most certainly are. All right, onto your side, onto the elbow. Lift, pump, lower. Lift, pump, lower. Let's go. Against that band, toes are touching. One, two, three. One, two, three. Keep tension on that band when you lower. Core tight. Chest lifted. Rib cage up. Up, two, lower, two. Up, two, lower, two. For four. For three. Ooh, it's hot in here. Two. Last one, two, three, to lower, and over to that other side. One more move, back to the standing, straight from the top, no band. You can do this. If you got there with the band especially, not only do I salute you, but now I know you can do it. In two, in one, open, open, lower. Open, open, lower. Isn't it crazy how much stronger one side is compared to the other? This side is super struggling. One, two, three, and four. There is always something to work towards. And down. And down, four more. Three more. Two more. Last one, lower the leg, and you can remove that band. Those of you who have these, you know how much these hurt, right? The adjustable for one thing, but with these, you like don't even have an option to make it easier. All right, back from the top, up to standing, starting on the right this time. Out, in, to the back, in. One, two, three, four. Now you'll notice it's almost easier with the band, because that band will kind of keep your leg in place. Now you're working on your balance a little bit more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eight. Seven. There she goes. Five, four, three, two, one. To center, jumping jacks if you want. It's your last five minutes here with me. Take advantage of it. Use the time you put aside. In five, four, three, two, on one to center, out to side, back and in. One, two, three, four. Use the arms. Use the core. The torso is lifted. We're trying not to lean too far to the side. You can do it. Just a few more. You're already past number six. <laughs> okay, my brain's moving slow too. It happens. One, two, three, four, five, four. Last three, two, one, and lift. Jumping jacks if you want. Keep it going. Our next one is left, center, right, center. I am watching you. I want you to finish this. The only thing I can do is talk to you through the screen. You have to do the work. In two, in one. Left, center, right, center. Keep it quick. Keep it quick, keep moving. You know what moves to expect. You know you just got through them. Find that last win. Use the arms, dance through it. One, two, one, two, and hop, and hop. Gotta find out of fun with it, right? 10, nine, eight, and we're at home. We don't even have to care if we look weird. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Incredible job, guys. Just a few more to go, and then we are complete. All right, next up, oh, why did I put this in here? Our squat jumps. All right, it's in, out, up. In, out, up. Let's go. One, two, one, two. Use the arms. Core tight. Booty low. Can you take it a little faster for these last 18 seconds? Find that burst. The faster you go, the less you're going to feel that burst. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and 4. You got this. 3, 2, that's a 1, and 1. I didn't cheat. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Don't give me that look. I know some of you know when I'm out of breath, I'm out of screen. In four, three, one jumping jack. Out, in, out, in. Elbows tuck towards the waist when you come in. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Keep the energy. Two more moves. Two more, and then the easiest ones. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down to the mat. Last two. Clam opener. We're gonna change it a little bit though. Too easy without the band. All right, bend in the bottom leg. Top leg lifted. Tap, raise, tap, raise. One, two, flex the foot. One, two, one, two. Little bit above hip level. Foot is facing forward, toes are towards me. Like you are ready to kick me, so I know you are. 15 seconds, 13, 12, 11, 10, come on. Eight, seven, six, hold it high, pulse five, four, three, two, one. And bring it in, other side. Ooh, guys. I didn't even tell you, all right? I'm trying to hide it. It is nine o'clock at night right now. <laughs> Going in four, three, two, and one. Lift, lower, lift, lower. I have noticed, you might notice this too in yourself. The more tired you are, or the more fatigued you are, I should say. I'm not really that tired. I am fatigued. This was a tough workout. One, two, one, two. The loopier you get. <laughs> up, lower, up. Lower. I'm like, what was the rest of that sentence? 10, 9, 8. Think about that outer booty. 6, 5, hold pulse. For 3, for 2, for 1. Lower it down. Woo. Have a moment. I'm going to catch my breath while we do a stretch together. Oh my goodness. All right, let's work on the hip flexors a little bit. So hands below the shoulders. Bring the right foot forward. All right, this should be a good stretch. We're gonna lean back, come forward, raise the inside arm, lower. Four times. Lift, lower. Three more. Lift, lower. Two more. Lift, lower. Last one. Two, and step that leg back over to the other side. Bring that foot out to the side of your hand. Lean back, forward, raise, and down. Three more. Now I do have some questions for you, okay? They are coming at the end of this video, but I know a lot of you have been with me for a long time now. I think we're going on about two years. Let's just do two more on the side, and this hamstring is always tighter. I want to know how long you've been training with me for. What is your main takeaway? Lower that arm, bring it in, into a child's pose stretch. Drop the head and lift. Just shake it out. Relax the neck a little bit. But my question to you is, how many years or months have you been with me, training with me? What is your main takeaway that you get from the channel? Because I do want people to, other people like us who need workouts like this to stumble into this video. Maybe they get to the end of it. Maybe they actually do the stretch with us, right? And they see, why you're here, what you get from it. You know I'm not all about dieting and restricting and like I don't think 
I put out the kind of information that would tell you to be really hard on yourself or critical of yourself. We are here to get stronger, we are here to progress, and I wanna hear what kind of things you get out of these videos. It would be great to hear from you. All right, everybody, I am going to go shower and then pass out. Have an amazing day. Incredible work today, everyone. Now, before you head out, I would love to hear from you in the comments. How long have you been training with me for and what has been your main takeaway or favorite thing about the channel? Remember to smash that thumbs up button for me. It does help me reach more people like you who need more workouts like this. Subscribe to the channel for a new home workout every week. And don't forget that you can find my single hit resistance bands in the video description alongside your Power and Pilates July Fitness Guide, for which you'll have five workouts a week and a brand new one every Wednesday. Finally, turn your notifications on for next week's Pilates style abs, waist, and upper body workout. Until then, just keep following along with your guide and I'll see you for the next one.